Hi everyone, welcome back! Today I will decorate this lovely teapot. Let's paint some simple flower and bird shapes. I want it to be more geometric with bright blocks of color. I will be using this watercolor pencil to help me plan out the design as well as this random spray bottle, which will keep the proportions for the bird's heads equal in size. If you don't have a watercolor pencil, any softer pencil or colored pencil should do the job as well. Or you can skip this step altogether and do your sketch with porcelain paints directly. If you do decide to stick with any type of pencil, then do remember to remove the crumbs so that they don't get mixed up in the paint later on. You do want the surfaces clean, as possible. Which is the step I forgot and you can see it will be a little bit sloppy and there will be some crumbs left from the watercolor pencil. The softer the pencil, the more crumbs you will get. If you are a beginner at porcelain painting, try to pick objects like this one that have a reasonably flat surface. The more curvy the surface, the more difficult it will be to make the paint stay in one place and not pull. A good comparison would be to trying to create acrylic or gel nails, so if you are into nail art, then porcelain painting may be a breeze for you. But back to the topic, I am outlining everything with this metallic color called petrol. It dries matte, has a bit of a sparkle to it, and is not as harsh as straight out black. So I thought it would be fitting for the carnival of color that's about to come once I am done with the contouring. Porcelain, plain <laughs> porcelain paint is a very durable material that after drying can be burned in an oven. The temperature of burning may vary depending on the brand of paint you chose, but on average it is around 150 degrees Celsius. Make sure to check the instructions before putting your painted mugs in the oven. This gives lasting results as the oldest of my painted cups is around 10 years old. My final piece of advice for when you are beginning your porcelain paint adventure is to stick to very simple geometric shapes just like I am trying to do with this design. This gives you so many options and possibilities to decorate the birds. You can of course make them realistic if you want, uh, or just like this one, you can make them just blocks of color, which will look very, very bright, bright, very, oh my goodness, <laughs> which will look very, very vibrant and uh, happy. I will let you know enjoy the video. Let me know down in the comments if there are any questions or anything else you wonder about porcelain painting. I will be happy to answer them and give you the best of advice I have. I will be back at the reveal.
I hope you enjoyed the painting process. I tried to show you some close-ups of the paints, especially the sparkly metallic ones. And of course I love when I clean the brush and you see the paint just dance in the water. And that's very enjoyable to look at, so I hope you also liked those uh, shots. Let's see the teapot itself. I'm really happy with the results. This is just such a positive teapot. It's really fun to look at. It's very summery as well. I will be definitely keeping this one for daily use, so perhaps in a year or so I can update you with how the paint looks like after a while. I encourage you to try porcelain painting yourself. I hope my videos give you some information and ideas. And if so, give me a like or even subscribe. It's greatly appreciated as always. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.